Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup look kind of thing for autumn slash winter, whatever you want to call it. So, let's get started. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to spray my beauty blender already for my foundation. Um, I just like to say I used the Nivea Soft Face Body and Hands Moisturizer and the Benefit That Girl Primer. Um, I've done that, so now I'm going to do foundation. So this is really good to get damp because it, it, it just puffs up a bit more. I'm going to use the 17 on the spot foundation. I only I put a little bit, little, little tiny bit on because I don't really usually wear foundation. I know. And this is a really light coverage foundation. And I'm using this Real Techniques sponge. I don't know which one, but it's a Real Techniques sponge. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm going to use concealer. And I'm going to use my Collection Lasting Perfection concealer, which I don't have too much of left. So I'm going to try and get as much as I can under my eyes. I might have to go over the top with another one because there's really not much. It looks like there's enough, but it's all like... I'll just put one stroke of this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer over the top, just a little bit. Um, and then I'm not going to use my sponge. I'm going to use the Real Techniques Buffing Brush for my concealer. I just turned my light off so you could see a bit better. I just put my... Oh, but um, as you can see, it blends out really nicely and it blends better if you use a brush. But I'll turn it back on now so you can see me a bit better. There you go. Um, so now I'm going to do some powder. Powder, actually, yeah, I'll do, I'll do powder now. I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And the brush I always use for powder is the Claire's Powder Brush because it's so, like, dense. I really like it. Uh, this powder is in the shade 006 Warm Beige. I don't know what I thought when I was buying this. But it's kind of translucent, to be honest. Put a little bit down on it. Okay, so, done powder. Powder doesn't usually take too long, does it? Um, so now I'm going to do highlight. Highlight. Oh, shall I? I'm going to go for this highlight. I haven't used this in a while. This is the MUA Strobe and Glow Highlight Kit. Uh, the cream highlight is too creamy. Very pretty though, like. But I'm going to use just this little highlight. And the brush I'm going to use is a really good brush. But it's quite... Hang on is this Primark brush. I don't know what it's called, but um, if you go to my haul, if you're really desperate to know, then go to my haul. I think it's like a pound or something. And it's really good for highlight. Oh, okay, that's a little lot of highlight. So you can do highlight however you want, but you just kind of... Can you see that? I always blend mine out. I don't know about you. It's just what I do. It's just to highlight your kind of cheekbone area. And then I'm going to add like the teeniest bit of this shimmery one underneath. Just, okay, I'm even going to use my finger because I don't want a lot. A little bit, a little bit. Wow. See, it's very shimmery. Use a little bit down on this side as well, but if you get too much, it just doesn't look very good because it's such a such a pigmented highlight. So this is a really nice one. This one's in the color pearl gold. It's so pretty. Um, next is blush. I don't really usually use blush, but in the winter it's good to use it. I don't know if I should use my Benefit Posy tint. Or my, I might just use a little bit of posy tint. Actually, I know what I'm going to use that I haven't used in a while. 
the W7 Cheeky Trio palette. I, I don't know why, just the smell of this palette. So I'm going to use this beautiful blush in the middle. This is in the shade Fifth Avenue. And the brush, blush brush I use is the Rotate Contour Brush. Don't ask, as you can see, there's a very pigmented blusher the other day. Very pigmented. Actually, I'm gonna. Alright, I'm just gonna use it. See, it's so pretty, this blush. Just gives a nice little glow to the cheek. Well, not glow, but just makes them a little bit pinky. There's a bit much on this cheek, I need to blend it out. This brush is really good for blending stuff, especially eyeshadow, I found. Yeah, that's nice. Just gives a nice little rosy feel to the cheeks. If I turn this light off, you'll be able to see it a bit better. There you go. Uh, it looks very, very cute. Okay. Eyes. I I really enjoy doing eyes, so I'm going to do some eye primer. This is just by Sunkist. I'm going for a natural look, even though I'm using quite a lot of products for different things. But this just makes the eyes. This is. I just put a little bit. The reason I'm looking there's a mirror behind me basically. Um, eyeshadow. I'm going to use. Yeah, I'm going to use this palette. Maybe a bit of my Revolution palette. There's a really nice colour in here that I always like to use. So, And all my brushes. Just chill in here. I really like my Real Techniques brushes. So that's why I use them all the time. Here we go. So I'm using the Real Techniques doomed shadow brush and I'm just going to take this shade here which is the number two warm ivory as you can see I've used it a lot it's just it's just literally like a nude like literally you can't see it on your eyes you can literally see the tiniest bit of it on your eyes and I use that one so much because it's such a good base and I'm kind of kind of go for a bit of gold so I'm going to take this gold here, this is the colour number 4, so radiant gold, it's such a pretty gold, just to kind of take that over the top, by the way I don't really wear makeup out so but I, I'm not really doing much, I, I, don't wear, I don't wear this out, I'm just doing like a video for you. And then just a little bit of brown in the crease, which is number one, two, three, four, six, eight. Baked chestnut, the colour I'm using. It's just this very dark brown. Only a little bit though, for the crease. Some people like to do the crease first, some people like to do it last. I personally do it last. And then just kind of go over the, the gold a little bit with it, just to make it look a bit more, I don't know, kind of subtle, I guess. So, that's kind of my eye look, but then I'm going to take the teeniest bit of high beam benefit. I'm literally going to put it on my finger, because I don't want much. Teeniest bit, I'm going to share this between the two eyes, and put just in the little corner here and then the little corner there just to give it a little bit of highlight Ooh, I like my eye look actually mascara I'm going to use the Maybelline the Rocket the Volume Express or something it's called I don't usually do my lashes too much oh oh why do they put product there I never know I never actually use my Revolution palette I'm going to go for a teeny bit of bronzer, teeny, teeny bit, and I'm going to just use this palette, and I always use a contour brush for bronzer, so this sun-kissed contour brush, but look at the difference between these two contour brushes, 
I know. This contour is in the shade Dream Machine. It's kind of shimmery. Contour, I mean bronzer. I, I don't really know where to put this. So I just kind of put it where I think. As you may already tell, I'm not very great for makeup. <coughs> you probably don't even put it there. And then just blend it out with this brush. I'm really impressed with this actually. <laughs> the same. For the lips, I'm gonna go for. I have loads of different colours, but I think I'm gonna go for like a nudie pink. So this PS lipstick. Just because it's such a nice colour. Like I could have gone for like I could have gone for like a pink like that. <clears throat> but it wouldn't really go with my eyes. Or um or like something like this sort of colour. Or I could have gone for my little MAC lip liner, but I just, I just kind of stayed subtle. And I, oh, I've got an idea. I'm going to just go over my eyes with a bit of my NARS golden thing. This is, oh. wow. So that is this little gold colour here. And it looks really cute. I never do my brows. If you like this look, then give it a thumbs up. By the way, I won't wear this out. And subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!